Welcome back to Sound 101. We're in a car. We've got three people, three mics. Let's do it. Today's big guest on our show is Mike, who's a location sound mixer here in LA. You have a lot of experience miking up cars. Why don't you tell the audience a little bit about your background? Thank you. Yeah, my name is Mike Walker, and in Dallas, I worked on shows like Dallas Car Sharks, Murder Made Me Famous, and did a lot of work for Toyota North America. Well, it is safe to say that Mike knows what he's talking about when it comes to miking up cars, which is why I'm going to make this in a challenge episode. Okay, so we have a scene from the movie Seven we want to recreate. It has a driver, a passenger, and a convict in the back seat. So we're going to recreate this scene using what is on this cart. Are you up for the challenge? Let's do it, man. Wait a minute, I thought all you did was kill innocent people. Don't ask me to pity those people. I don't mourn them any more than I do the thousands that died at Sodom and Gomorrah. Is that to say, John, that what you were doing was God's good work. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Okay, so let's talk about the driver first mounting options. How are we gonna mic up a driver in this police car? All right, so we got our driver. What I think we're gonna go with here is the S Mic 2S on a Dinkum mount. With the blocking that we've seen for this scene, the coverage will allow us to put this down low in the center console area. You're not gonna see it. It'll be His head's not moving dramatically. His attention is focused that way, so we'll have a nice mounting position for it. Any, he's not gonna be speaking out the window or anything like that. His dialogue is gonna be biased back towards the inside of the car. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two. Let's talk about the passenger who's way more animated in this scene. Yes, and not only that, most of the time, Brad Pitt, he's over the shoulder looking back. So, so. doing a classic lavalier in the visor, not gonna cut it for this. Right, right, right. If it was a, a lot of those things we've done, like the car sharks and things like that, it's two people just talking, but they're looking forward most of the time, you can get away with going to the visors. This is an in-depth narrative scene, and the attention is not about the vehicle, it's about what's the scene. That leaves his open range as such. Okay. So I'm thinking a suction cup with another S mic 2S on the back capturing, you know, he's going to be turned to the back most of the time. And I feel like if Brad comes to the front, this one would be able to pick it up a little bit too. So super cardioid, really relying on your microphone's Absolutely. pickup patterns here. Super cardioid here because we do have a close proximity inside the vehicle which will allow the super cardioids to shine in here. We don't need a, a, very, a scalpel need from a hyper -cardio cardioid or anything like that. So these will work fine in here. And the last, we have the convict in the back seat. How are we miking them up? So he's in the back. We will have a shot that's coming through the front of the windshield to pick him up. From what we could tell, our suction cup for Brad will be safe off to the side. But what we want to do for Kevin Spacey in the back is hide a lob up top. That way we can get our center shot and not see the mic that's down in the center console and the suction cup off to the back driver's side. So literally side we window. can mic up all three people, leave them, yep. this vehicle can drive off, shoot the scenes, come back, and we didn't bust camera at all. We don't want to hear any comments from our camera friends. You know, if they come go. back and don't say anything to us, that means it worked, it worked great. When it comes to miking up that lavalier to the roof of a car, one of the best things you can use is paper tape not gaff tape or duct tape. The adhesives are way too strong. The more expensive the car, the happier the owner will be when they realize he didn't do anything bad to their car. Now that all of our audio is set up, let's give it a little listen. Here's what the driver sounds like on the s Mic 2S. Is that to say, John, you were doing the Lord's work? Now here's what the passenger sounds like when they're doing their over the shoulder. Wait a minute, I thought all you did was kill innocent people. And lastly, this is what the back seat sounds like with that lavalier taped to the ceiling. I don't mourn them any more than the thousands that died at Sodom and Gomorrah. So now we know where everyone is and the microphones are, where are we going to be when we're doing the recording? That's a great question. Looking at the vehicle, it's not like we have a place to put our sound cart and kick back. What about the trunk? 
No matter what, don't get in the trunk. It's just not safe. There's not a lot of room to mix from, so we have some tools for that. This is when we get to bust out the FM transmitter. This is a really this cool, this guy right here. And we'll be able to pipe our audio signal from inside the car to a follow car. It's spitting out at about 200 milliwatts, I think. Give or take. Give or take, and that should get us about maybe 300 meters with the follow car, so that's pretty awesome. The way that's gonna work is everyone in the follow car will just get to dial into their radio as if they were at a drive-in movie theater. And it's a very common method um, to leave the audio recorder in the vehicle so it's near all the mics and everything. Do some sound checks with your talent, you know, listen to them hopefully during the blocking and rehearsals you had time to dial in your levels and everything like that. So we can get away with leaving the recorder in the bag for a few takes as long as we're rushing to do, you know, playback afterwards, that kind of thing. Make sure, you know, it's all good when the car comes back around. That way everyone in the vehicle will get to listen. They don't need headphones. You've got one tool serving several people in village so that's yeah. a pretty cool thing so the secret trick here is the fm transmitter like 50 bucks on amazon you've probably never heard of one but good to have especially if you do a lot of car shoots absolutely so now we know where things are being mounted we know about safety let's talk about something that is unique to a car shoot and that is noise Oh man, lots of noises with moving cars. And as we know in our scene, this car is supposed to be in motion. With the motion from a vehicle, a lot of that's gonna come from the engine, obviously. So what we have to think about is where do we wanna put our rejective side of our axis from our microphone. Obviously, the rear side of the microphone is gonna have the most rejection than the front. We wanna make sure that our rear axis is always pointed as best as it can. We might have to do some wiggle room, but you do have X amount of degrees in each direction on the rear side to get optimal rejection from, in this case, the car engine. So you're talking there, you're talking about that dinkum arm for the driver. Correct. We're trying to make sure those 240, 270 degree exactly. nodes exactly. on a super cardioid are kind of pointed toward that, exactly. that engine about block. 123 to 233 to keep it tight yeah, yeah. in those in those ranges yeah something that is unique about a car and you probably experience this a lot on your shoots out there in texas and that is air conditioning what are we doing it's got to go off i mean if we're trying to capture the audio talent's not gonna like it if there's a producer in the car that's squeezed in there they're not gonna like it or the director's not gonna like it it's gotta go off. So crank it beforehand, make yeah. it super cold. Exactly, that's your chance while you're mounting to crank that thing on like 65 degrees. Keep the car in shade when you're doing all your mounting options. If you can do a pull-up tent, keep it out of direct sunlight. It's gonna keep it as cool as possible because during the recording, there's no air conditioning right. going. When the windows are down, I mean, you're talking about a vehicle, even at 40 miles per hour, that kind of wind speed coming in. It's kind of a no-go. Yeah, really... it's not even the wind necessarily that's the problem. It's the pressurized cabin and the woo, 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 woo sound Excellent. that is really yeah, making absolutely. a lot of the interference. The pressure can tug at the transducers, causing all kinds of turbulence with the transducers. Yeah, so it's not necessarily like, like throw a blimp on it and you're gonna save yourself if you keep the windows down. It's, it's a mess. Now that we're to the end of this video, here is our version of a scene from Seven. Wait a minute, I thought all you did was kill innocent people. Don't ask me to pity those people. I don't mourn them any more than the thousands that died at Sodom and Gomorrah. Is that to say, John? You were doing the Lord's work? The Lord works in mysterious ways. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for us on this episode of Sound 101. Thank you, Adam, for leaving a comment below on our last episode to tell us what you wanted us to do in the future. If you wanna win a VLOV, just like Adam, drop a comment down in that section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss a fun video like this one in the future when we post on this channel. I'm Andrew from Deity Microphones. Thank you for watching. What'd you say about a box?